Hey guys, it's Ollie. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, thank you for tuning in. And if you're returning, thank you for coming back. Today I'm doing a hair review from an Amazon vendor called Nadula Hair. They actually reached out to me a couple weeks ago and we've been talking for a little bit. And it was perfect timing because my birthday is coming up next week. So I was actually looking for new hair anyways and they just happened to reach out to me and ask me if I wanted to do a hair review and I gladly accepted. The lady that I worked with, she was really responsive. Almost every time I emailed her, I would get an email back that same day. And she also was really nice. She was really um, cooperative. This is what the box looks like. I'll show it on the other video as well. But the box has this really pretty front. It has hair, hair tips at the back and talks about them as a supplier. And if you open it up, it actually has this really cute card. I don't know who this is. But it has a really cute card. On the back, there's a little note as well. It starts by saying, Hi, Slay Barbie, which is just adorable. <laughs> so the bundles that I chose were three bundles and a closure. I got a 22-inch, a 24-inch, a 26-inch, and then a 20-inch closure. I took the bundles and the closure and I made a wig. That was my first time ever doing that. Usually, I just buy pre-made wigs. But I figured since the opportunity presented itself, I might as well try something new. I'll insert some videos from when I first got the hair. I got it a couple days ago and I filmed opening the box and stuff, but I went ahead and made the wig off camera just in case I didn't like it and I took it all apart. But I actually was really pleased with the way it came out. It was a little, it was a lot harder than I thought it would be. Like, YouTube makes it look a lot easier than it actually is. It took me seven hours to make this wig, so it's my prized possession, but I was really happy that I was able to do it in one day and get it over with. I put the 26 inch at the bottom and I doubled it so I could get the most length out of the hair as possible. And then I went 24, 22, and the 22 is basically one by one line up until the closure. So when I got this hair initially, I'll show you what the closure looked like. I did decide to bleach the knots because the hair was, the plucking was great in my opinion, but the knots are really visible. So I went through and I used a 30 volume developer and I just bleached the knots for about 20, maybe 25 minutes. And then I was really pleased with how it came out. I went back and did a little extra plucking just because I might flip my part. And I'm pretty sure this was a three part closure. So it had a part here, here, and here, like two on the side, one in the middle. But they all, I just wanted them to be a little more defined. So I went through and just plucked the entire frontal just so I can part it anywhere and feel like okay about it. My first impressions of this hair was that the wave pattern was fantastic. And I'll show you guys the videos of when I first opened the box. But each hair, each wave was identical. The ends were really perfect and they all were like the same density. I was a little wary when I first opened it because by looking at the bundles they looked thin and I think I was kind of conditioned to think that way because typically really long hair does have a thinner bundle and that's just the way it goes. So looking at it I was kind of thinking oh this doesn't look very full but after I made the wig I realized this is actually, I would say this is the fullest wig that I own. And this is the longest wig that I own, so it's kind of like a double whammy. So that was two things that I thought were really fantastic. The wave pattern was great, the ends were great, and the density of the hair was really great. Another thing that I really liked about the hair was that the length is actually a lot longer than I expected. And I don't know if I just got a bad wig last time because I've been wearing a 24 inch wig, the one that I usually wear in my videos. And it comes to like about here, like right above my chest. So I decided to go 26 inch because I I wanted something a little longer for my birthday. Like I wanted to go all out or whatever. But this is actually super long. Like it comes down to my belly button. And like if I put the hair all to the back, it touches my butt. And I'm five foot ten. Like I'm almost six foot. So usually I have to buy super long hair so it looks longer. Like it looks long on me, but to other people it's like... Like other people can wear 22, maybe 20 inches and that's like long, whereas I feel like I have to go super long to get that effect. 
but this is definitely what I assumed a 28 or a 30 inch hair, a bundle would look like. So I'm incredibly, like I'm not complaining, I'm incredibly pleased with it. I was just so caught off guard. It made me think like I could have even gone shorter, like I didn't need to get 26 inch hair. I probably could have got a 24 inch bundle from this company and it would have been exactly where I wanted it. I mean, I did double the 26 at the back purposely because I wanted to make sure I could see the length and it wasn't like it all was at the bottom. But I still think even with that being said, like this length is ridiculous. It's so long for what you're paying for. And I don't know if I mentioned, but for the three bundles and the closure, it was, I looked online and the price was 174, which, um, Again, I was a little like, wow, because I bought a 24 inch wig for definitely over $200 and this was longer, denser, and cheaper. So I was like, wow, this is amazing. I'm almost a little mad that I didn't know about them before, <laughs> but uh, like, at least I know now. And I did look as well at the frontals, because this is just the closure. So I looked at the frontals and kind of went back and forth about what I wanted and I noted the price there as well was only $50 more for a 13 by 4 inch frontal. So if you were getting this exact same length, exact same 20 inch frontal, it would have been $215, which I guess if you add in the labor of making a wig, it's about the same as where you'd see anywhere else. But I still think that's a really great price and if you're someone that's just going to sew it in anyways, then that's like fantastic. One thing I did notice about this hair was that it has the new bundle smell. I feel like a lot of bundles have a bundle smell and I don't know what the smell comes from, but to me it's not anything I'm going to die over and I always wash the hair before I install it, whether it's a weave or making a wig, like I always wash the hair first thing and the smell immediately goes away. So if the smell out of the box bothers you, you have to be wary of that, but just know that if you wash it, you're not going to smell anything anymore. Another thing is, after washing it, the hair, the curls come right back. So even as I was washing it, I washed it in the little, in the bundles, like I didn't open up the rubber band while I washed it. And after I conditioned it, I washed it once, I conditioned it, rinsed it out, deep conditioned, like the conditioned it again, let it sit, and then rinsed it out a second time making sure like all the conditioner was out and I like as it was sitting in the conditioner I coiled it back and then after I rinsed it out it almost looked like the wave was coming back as the hair was wet. So I was really amazed by that because a lot of times the point also of washing the hair before you put it in is because usually body weight looks one way when you, oh I didn't mention that. So this is this is body weight, this is Brazilian body weight, these three bundles and the closure. And I feel like I usually wear either Brazilian or Peruvian body wave, and almost every single time after you wash it, the wave pattern won't drop, but it'll kind of change. Like it's not going to look like the same kind of even wave that it does when it's in the bundle, obviously because it's not in a bundle, it's on your hair. But I feel like as I was still holding it, after I washed it, it came back almost exactly the same as it looked before I washed it which was really amazing to me. After I made the wig, I finished about 10 p.m. last night, put it on my, um, I put it on my mannequin, and then I just put, I wet the hair and put it into two, like, coiled buns, and I went to bed, and then in the middle of the night, I woke up and I couldn't sleep, so I started fiddling with the wig again, and that was about five or six hours after I went to bed, and I took the hair out of the buns, and I didn't even put it back in the buns. This is like the hair from then and it's still like coiled and curly. All I did additionally to that was taking some curling cream and like scrunching the hair. And that was more so um, the hair would look like um, more glossy. It wasn't more for the curl itself. But like the curls came back fantastic. So if that's something that you're upset about when you get new bundles that when you wash it, it doesn't come back the same way. This hair definitely will not do that. And I'll put in the description box below the curling cream that I use. It's a Mark Anthony one. You can get it at any drugstore. It's like yellow on the top. It's like curling smoothie, something like that. It's the only one I use and it's super cheap. It's like fantastic. So all in all, even though I work with this company, I think I will definitely go back and buy more hair from them. The only downside of their company is that they don't have pre-made wigs. So if you're someone that doesn't know how to make a wig and you're not willing to learn, then this probably isn't the vendor for you. But if you're a sewing person or you make your own wigs, then 
I would definitely look into them. And also, if you're an Amazon Prime member, you don't get your hair in two days. Like, I ordered on a Friday, and it came in the following Tuesday. So if I had just ordered maybe even a day or two before, I would have got it on Saturday. And that's fantastic. I actually ordered, I ordered the hair and like my dome cap, like the developer, all of that, just at the same time because I was too lazy to go to the store. And the hair actually came in on Tuesday, but all the supplies didn't come until Wednesday. Like the hair beat the supplies to my house. So I was kind of frustrated because I just kept looking at the hair and touching it and wanting to do something with it, but I couldn't because I didn't have anything else. Like I couldn't bleach it, I didn't have a dome cap. So that was really fantastic. Their shipping is really quick. So if you're looking for a new place to buy hair, I would definitely look into Najula. They're on Amazon, so if you're a Prime member, you'll get it within two days. All their pricing is fantastic. I was really blown away with how cheap the hair was. And I think that's why I was so blown away too when I got the hair and it was actually really great quality. Because I was thinking, I'm like, looking at this hair, like, this one is really nice, but your prices are so low. Like, you know, I was like, what's up? What's the what's the catch and there really is no catch it's just a really great company so if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe down below so you don't miss any new videos i'll put all my social medias down below especially my instagram while i'll probably post more a lot of photos of this hair because i'm gonna be wearing it in the coming weeks and i'll see you guys next time